Well, I was excited to start out in agriculture and biological engineering because um, it's a really neat program, very diverse, and a lot of real-world application. Um, you, see, you see people working on tractors and um, all kinds of grain and food processing, all the way to what we do, which is more environmental work. Your exhaust is the main problem that we encountered a problem with. We had to come up with a way to make it quieter. and. Um, an application like that could and is being used in industry at the moment now. We tend to be a very applied department. As we solve engineering problems, like all of the engineering uh, fields, we, we use the same tools, the, the mathematical tools, computer tools, etc. But most of ours have a specific application uh, in that someone wants to use these results to solve the world's grand challenges. What we're testing is a hydraulic system that is able to recover energy. So it's like your Toyota, like a Toyota Prius. When you step on the brakes of a Prius, the kinetic energy of the car moving down the road is transferred into is store is transferred into electrical power and stored in batteries. This system tries to do the exact same thing, except in the hydraulic realm. The professors in ABE, you know, at least the ones that I know, uh, have always pushed their students to try new things. One of the reasons I came to ABE was the fact that they have a good reputation, so they work with a lot of government agencies, industry, and um, working on real-world research that actually gets implemented um, fairly recently or while you're still working on it. In ABE, I've worked on a project that involves specifically siding constructed wetlands, wetlands that you will construct to treat runoff coming off agricultural fields and that taking out that nitrogen um, will eventually help downstream in the Gulf of Mexico. My, my research is exciting because it's incorporating um, all the fundamentals of engineering and then applying it in a real world situation. The students really get a win-win uh, situation with this project. Not only do they learn the engineering skills that we want to teach them, just good fundamental design, uh, what it takes to have something hold up for a particular environment. They design it on the computer, they build it, they predict its performance, have to pick the gear ratios. But then there's also a service learning and a human aspect to the vehicle where the, the application of there really makes a big difference in the lives of the people. So we put this tower up on the edge of a cornfield. It's run off a 12 volt battery because there are no outlets out in the cornfields. It's recharged by the solar panel and it collects uh, environmental data and it shoots it up through a satellite signal to a computer server somewhere so I can sit there on my computer in my office and see what's going on on my different research sites across the state. Knowing its ultimate application, I think you realize you know, the importance of the work and you realize you know, how much of a time crunch you're in to get these things done because this is where we are on you know, the edge of technology right now. We're, we're delivering a project, whether it be a tangible project or a design for something that we'll pass on to an NGO or another um, institution in the field that can implement it and ideally impact people's quality of life.